Hello, and welcome to another Digital.ai Agility Demo. In today's video, we're presenting Embedded Analytics, which offer a seamless way for teams to access and utilize data within your daily workflows by providing near real-time insights directly within Agility. With instant visibility into your software delivery pipeline's health, you can make quick, informed decisions that align with your strategic goals, enhancing both business decisions and operational efficiency. Agility comes equipped with 25 out-of-the-box pre-configured dashboards. These aren't just generic panels, they're carefully crafted to provide insights on key metrics that are important to Agile teams. To navigate to the analytics, you'll need to click on the hamburger icon. And if you have analytics enabled, you will see analytics option. Once you click on the analytics option, all the dashboards that we have currently enabled will be displayed there. If you would like to make a copy of these particular dashboards and edit them, you can always click on manage dashboard, go to the same page and start editing the dashboard. Now we're gonna show you a few of the popular dashboards customers use on a regular basis. We've preloaded the dashboard for the purpose of this demo. Here you can see Agile Earn Value by Date. This dashboard has two variations, total estimate of the release plan compared to the actual work completed and work item count to help identify potential issues and ensure you stay on schedule and within budget. All the completed work items are highlighted here and the ones which are created are highlighted up here. The numbers here are a cumulative count showing you how many work items are created and this green bar lets you know how many work items have been completed. And the bar is the velocity showing you how many work items are completed each day. You can view this chart by day, week, or month. Here is a weekly view of the dashboard, and then there is the monthly view. On the bottom of the dashboard, you can see how the team is doing week over week. This next dashboard is Work Item Trend. This dashboard enables customers to observe how their work items are changing over different periods of time, offering insight into the trend and evolution. It enables you to assess the progress and effectiveness of your development activity by tracking how many work items manage to move forward in progress and how many of them are completed over time. By studying this type of data, you can understand whether or not there is deviation from expected patterns of completion. It also helps to understand other sorts of issues, like as you can see here, the number of closed items across these three weeks are much higher compared to the others. So this is something that you'd want to analyze more deeply. The dashboard also offers two different formats, work item count as well as total estimate. And again, at the bottom, there is a detailed chart which helps you understand how many of these work items are available in progress. And we've included the last refresh date to help you get a good sense of how fresh the data is. The next dashboard I'd like to highlight is Work Item Cycle Time Summary, which provides the average amount of time that it took for stories, defects, testing to be completed between any two status lines you're selecting. So in this example, I've already selected two, and then there are a couple of different options in terms of how you want to group this. You can group this by type, so you can see what does it look like for stories, defects, testing on backlog, story points, which is my current example. Usually customers use these dashboards to understand the flow of things. So the cycle time between various stages from the initiation to the completion stage. The cycle itself refers to the dur duration between any two options within the cycle start and the cycle end. There are three key data points being shown here is the maximum amount of cycle time. So the way to read this chart would be for all of my work items or backlog items that have that we have between dev and done, I've grouped by my story points. So whatever has the maximum amount of time that it took for it to go from ready for dev to done is about 154 days. The average is 21.2 days and this took us probably about uh, close to one day, the, minim the minimum cycle time. So that's the three key data points. And as you can see, we have different representation of the same data here at the bottom, all of which uh, help you understand where work is stuck. I'd love to show you a few more, but in the essence of time, I'll wrap up with a final enhancement. It's called the cascading filter. Depending on the planning level, the cascading filter helps me see only those program levels that are linked to a particular planning level. And as I make more filtered selections, I will only see the relevant details of each program I select. Well, that's all we have for today. Thank you and have a great day.